Greetings everyone. I welcome all of you, my dear listeners, to this channel. And let's give all the glory to our Father in Heaven and His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the visions and revelations. This word was given to me on the 22nd of June, 2024. The Lord says that revival is coming. Your country will be swept by my fire. And at the beginning, he's talking about the United States of America. In the vision, I see an arch that was shown to me before in prayers. And it is connecting the East and West Coast. I see the East Coast and Miami and the state of Florida. And I see a fire. I see a fire. And I hear spiritual fire will consume your nation. My glory will fall on those who are hidden from the prying eyes until this time. They will be raised up, calling those who who were fallen to sin. The Lord gives me an understanding that those who are impossible to think or imagine that they will repent will indeed repent. It's like something came off of their eyes and suddenly they can see. He says, spiritual blindness lift off. They will see my truth in plain sight. They will carry a torch for me and set ablaze places that didn't know me. I see then Africa, Nigeria, fire, fire, Namibia, famine, famine. The Lord gives me an understanding that famine is coming to Africa. Also in the vision, I see a bluish smoke over the land. He gives me an understanding that it's from some kind of wildfires in the regions. And then I hear word, blight. I see fields, and then I see two words, Monsanto and blight. He gives me an understanding that there is a connection with the seeds. He says, creating famine. And it's about the elite who are in charge. Everything in place, pre-planned food shortage. And that was in quotes. So the food shortage was pre-planned. Also, he gives me an understanding about specific rules that were put in place to create shortages for food. And it's not just about Africa, but about other countries. They were pre-planned. And he says, depopulation agenda. The Lord says also that he will use it as certain things the Lord let happen because it opens people's eyes to the true evil. And he calls it organized crime against humanity, against my creation. And then he continues, I will set a fire where it was never been before. And I see Japan and this word boldness. And the understanding is given that it's about Japan, that this boldness will come to Christians in Japan. Because previously, they were almost invisible, suppressed by the government's intolerance to Christianity in Japan. I see again boldness. And the understanding is given that people will stand up for the Lord no matter what. And then I see the word prosecution. And the Lord says, as prosecution arises, instead of one person, two will stand up. Miracles, healings will happen in Japan. And then I hear a word, rice counselor. This is how it sounded, and I just repeat it as it was given. The understanding is given that the person holding an important position will be replaced in Germany. And it is in connection with mass migration and that they silently allowed countries' borders be almost erased. In a vision, I see a face of Olaf Scholz and hear, Bundestag. I see Germany and it's shaking. And then I saw riots and fires in Germany. Then in a vision, I see an explosion in Ukraine. The understanding is given that it's done by Russia in Ukraine. It is a big explosion followed by a fire. Then I see a word, Kiev. In a vision, I see a smoke and red fire and all of it like in black and red colors. And then I hear words, neutron. Neutron bomb, explosion first ever. The Lord gives me an understanding that it is a smaller version. And then he continues with the word kiloton. Then I receive a download that it is to scare and show that they are very serious, meaning Russians. Also, the word scare is to show to everyone besides the country where it was used, but also to those who are watching. I'm not sure about the exact location of this explosion. And then I hear word exposure. It is something to do with the U.S. Army. I hear the word dissidents. And I pulled the definition from Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Dissident can be a noun or adjective. Disagreeing, especially within established religious or political system, 
organization or belief. As a noun, it will be a person who disagrees with what I just said in the definition of the word. And then the Lord gives an understanding that this is about people who are against those who are, in quotes, plotting with the enemy in the midst. And then I hear word treason. This is about treasonous acts in the U.S. Army. He continues, paycheck. And immediately the Lord gives an understanding that the paycheck comes from the foreign governments to those people. And I see these words, China, a big employer, siphoned money. And again, he gives an understanding that, in quotes, when economic burst happened in China, they got money and power. Then they used this money to pay to organize this bribery. In a vision, I see a creature that reminds me of an octopus with many tentacles going into different places. And I see these words, U.S. government, economy, military. The Lord gives me an understanding that Chinese workers were placed in key positions in the USA and in connection with computers. And then the Lord says, in quotes, the data was collected, used, and stolen. Also, they learned and took back this data, and in quotes, advancing their agenda in China. And then I hear these words, the enemy is at the door, sleeping giant is awake. This is the end of the word. If you heard about Jesus Christ, but do not have a personal relationship with him, and never said a prayer, I will help you. You can repeat right after me. And this prayer will help you to open the doors to know who our Lord Jesus Christ is. Because He is a gentleman. He is not going to barge in. Even though that He died for us on the cross, He still wants us to invite Him. So please repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive my sins. I lay them down at your feet. I believe that you are the Son of God. That you walked in the flesh on this earth. That you died for me on the cross and rose again to be at the right side of our Father in heaven. Please forgive my sins and come into my heart. I thank you for everything that you have done for me. In Jesus' precious name, amen. You can get a Bible and read the Word of God. It is alive. Ask our Lord to help you what passages to read. And also I recommend to start from the beginning so you will learn more who is the creator of you and everything around you. Remember that God is good and He loves us. I'll talk to you later. Love you all. Bye.